It's time again to turn the spotlight on the candidates running for the top office, courtesy of our Kim ji -yeon. Who they are and what pledges they're putting forward. The star of the fourth installment in this series, Yoo Seung-min of the splinter Paran Party, who refused to be a yes man when the now impeached leader was at the top office. Yoo Seung-min is an economist turned politician and now the presidential candidate representing the splinter conservative Paran Party. The 59-year-old Yu is a fourth-term lawmaker who followed in the political footsteps of his late father, who was a judge and lawmaker from a district in the southeastern city of Daegu. Yu's political career went through a major upheaval while he was a member of the conservative Senri Party. Yu, who was once a close aide to Park geun served as her chief of staff when, as a lawmaker, she made her first run for the presidency in 2005. He served as a floor leader for the Senri Party until 2015, when Park, who was president at the time, labeled Yu as a political traitor for a deal he brokered with the opposition on a revision to the National Assembly Act. Thirteen days later, he resigned. You tried to run for re-election in Tegu last year as an independent and won, and he returned to the Senri Party and stayed for about a year until he left to create the Padan Party with a group of other lawmakers who are critical of Pak. Yu takes a hardline approach on security and diplomacy. Yu has said the U.S. missile defense system THAAD must be deployed as soon as possible, saying it's the best and only defense mechanism against North Korea's ballistic missile threats. He believes South Korea should come up with its own deterrence measures and has voiced support for the redeployment of American tactical nuclear weapons withdrawn in 1991. He has also said the government should adopt a neither confirm nor deny policy when it comes to the existence of nuclear weapons on the peninsula. He says operations at the inter-Korean Kaesong Industrial Complex, which was suspended last year, cannot be immediately resumed. He wants to renegotiate the wartime sexual slavery of Grima start with Japan in 2015 to include an official apology from Japan for its past wrongdoing. If Japan didn't agree to his terms, he would return a $9 million compensation fund to Japan and break off the deal. On the economic front, Yu says Korea should try to diversify to reduce its reliance on China, Korea's top trading partner. He has advocated for a f filing a complaint with the World Trade Organization to curb Beijing's retaliatory measures against the FAST system. Going forward, it will be important for Yu to boost his f approval ratings, which have yet to break into the double digits. Campaigning officially starts on April 17th. Kim Jiang, Arirang News.